Hi everyone and welcome to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I will show you how to make matzo ball soup. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end. Matzo ball soup is a soup based on a homemade chicken stock with some vegetables and matzo balls made from matzo meal. First of all I will make chicken stock. For this I will roast 2 pounds of chicken wings. You can use chicken necks or chicken carcass. Place them into preheated 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 1 hour. Meanwhile let's make matzo ball mixture. Crack 4 large eggs into the bowl. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Lightly whisk them with a fork or a whisk. Add 1 cup of matzo meal, 1 eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, 1 fourth of a cup of chicken fat or chicken schmaltz or you can substitute it with the vegetable oil. Add 4 tablespoons of cold water. Season it with salt and white pepper. Mix it. Cover with a plastic wrap and put it into the fridge for one hour. Now let's prep the vegetables. Take two large onions and dice them large. Make sure not to peel them. Transfer into the bowl and put it aside. Take 3 celery stalks and roughly chop them. Take one large carrot and roughly cut it as well. Take one parsnip and cut it into large pieces. Add one fourth of a bunch of parsley. Take one head of a garlic and cut it in half. And transfer it into the bowl. Add three bay leaves and some black peppercorns. Put the vegetables aside. Take some dill and remove thick stems. And chop it fine. For the soup you will need one carrot, peel it and the peels I'm not gonna throw it in the garbage, I'm gonna use it in the chicken stock. Cut it in half and slice it on the mandolin. If you have a great knife skills you can slice it by hand. And put it on the side. Chicken wings are roasted, take a pot, transfer the chicken wings in. Add vegetables, place the whole chicken in, cover everything with cold water, season with salt, bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for one hour. Now let's make the matzo balls. Take the matzo ball mixture out from your fridge and roll it into the balls. Use some cold water to help you to roll them so the mixture won't stick to your hands.
one hour passed, remove the chicken from the pot and place the pot back on the stove. Cool down the chicken and then separate the meat from the bones. Discard the skin and put the bones inside the pot. Break the meat into small pieces, put it on a plate and put it aside. Take a pot with cold water, bring it to a boil, add 2 tablespoons of salt, lower the heat, and place your matzo balls inside, one by one. Cook them on a low heat with a closed lid for 40 to 50 minutes. Our matzo balls are ready. Put them on a sheet pan and put them aside. Take the pot with chicken stock. Remove the bones and vegetables. Take a mesh strainer, put a cheesecloth on top of it and strain your chicken stock. Place ready stock on a stove, bring it to a boil, skim if necessary, and add your sliced carrots. Cook them for 7 minutes. Add matzo balls that you will use, approximately 2 per person. Leave it on a low heat for a couple minutes. You just want the matzo balls to get the flavor from the chicken stock and warm them up. And now let's plate matzo ball soup. Into the soup bowl place some chicken. Then add chicken stock with carrots. Add couple matzo balls. And top it with some chopped fresh dill. Enjoy!